In other news, school is over for thousands of Southern California students. They've just learned their for-profit colleges are suddenly closed. CBS 2's Adriana Weingold is live in the City of Industry where Everest College students are shocked and angry. Adriana? Well, students were blindsided this morning when they opened an email that said that their campus is closed starting now indefinitely. There's no graduation, no school tomorrow. <coughs> they're not sure what's going to happen to their student financial aid, and they're not sure where they're going to be able to transfer those classes. I'm just upset because um, I just received the email that school is going to be closing. Students at Everest College are beside themselves, confused and angry after getting an email this morning saying their school is shut down effective immediately. I don't know where I'm going to go. I don't know what I'm going to do. The closure affects 16,000 students nationwide at 28 campuses operated by Corinthian colleges. Adriana Santanello was two months away from graduating with a degree in massage therapy. She has $15,000 in student loans and wonders what's going to happen now. I spent a lot of money to come here. And now the money basically I feel has been thrown in the trash since there's no guarantee that they'll let me finish my program. The company has been in financial trouble for a while. Last summer, the U.S. Department of Education restricted Corinthians' access to federal student aid, fearing they had falsified job placement rates to attract students and get more federal money. CEO of Corinthian, Jack Massimino, said in a statement, quote, We believe that we have attempted to do everything within our power to provide a quality education and an opportunity for a better future for our students. But students like Leticia Fernandez say they were blindsided. Fernandez just finished chemotherapy treatment for colon cancer. She enrolled in the medical assistant program so she could help other people battling the disease. It makes a big impact when you're feeling sick, so I thought I'll help somebody, you know, and, and now to start over or I don't know what's going to happen. I'm really upset. I did reach out directly to the CEO for additional information for these students, where they're going to transfer, what's going to happen to their financial aid. I was called back by a PR representative who couldn't tell me where the students are going to be able to transfer and if their student financial aid will also transfer to another college. We are live in the City of Industry. Adriana Weingold, CBS 2 News. Thank you, Adriana. For a full list of campuses closing, just log on to our website, cbsla.com, and click Scene on TV.